We got some breaking news. Omar Khan and the Pittsburgh Steelers have finally uh, filled that 90th roster position with defensive tackle Larry Ogunjobi, uh, most recently of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's also with the Cleveland Browns. He was involved in that situation that happened with Mason Rudolph and Miles Garrett. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that's going to portray this uh, upcoming season since now they're going to be teammates. However, Pittsburgh Steelers have signed him to a one-year deal. Um, we're going to go over what that means for the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and what that means for, for Mr. Ogunjobi. I'm Daniel J. Welcome to the huddle. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, also, we have a contest going out where we'll be giving away two tickets to a lucky subscriber to see the Pittsburgh Steelers play this year against the New York Jets. All you have to do to be entered into that contest is be a subscriber. Um, we'll be announcing the winner on July 4th. Um, you'll have to be present on that live to, to claim the, uh, the, the tickets. So we highly encourage you um, hit that notification button so you don't miss our daily segments, breaking news, and our weekly lives. So the Steelers have signed Larry Ogunjobi. What does that mean? That means that there's a lot more competition in for that position. Um, I'm not sure if Larry's going to be able to come in right away. I know that he exited the season last year due to a major foot injury that required surgery. Uh, I know that earlier in the offseason, he was due to sign a three-year deal 40, worth up to $40 million with the Chicago Bears, but that fell through due to him failing a physical. You know, there are some concerns there. Uh, the Steelers did not give him a long-term deal, so that kind of indicates that maybe they're also kind of showing like, hey, this is a prove-it deal. Show us that you've healed from this injury, and then we'll go forward from there. Um, I like this move. It's a competitive move. We have Tyson Alualu, who's 35 years old. And as much as I think that the Steelers needed him last year and how much that his presence back is going to be huge, uh, we still are faced with a 17-game season. We are faced that if we do make the playoffs, there's only one team that's going to get a bye week. And so if we intend to make a deep run, more than likely, we're going to be playing significant amount of games, playing you know, that first week in the playoff round. And with that said, we're going to need fresh bodies up front. I think this is a good, solid move to get that rotation going. That way we can give some breaks to a aging Tyson Alualu, to a Cam Hayward, who's also uh, in the uh, upper part of his career as far as his age goes. This is a great signing. I hope that Larry is back and healthy from his leg injury and that he'll be able to make a great impact on our defense early, especially in the running game. Uh, He's known of being a run stopper. He had seven sacks as well, so he can get to the quarterback. Uh, be interesting to see how he plays on our team. I like it. Look forward to it. That's what I have for you guys today. Please give us a like and subscribe. That way you don't miss any of our breaking news and our daily segments and weekly lives. Don't forget to enter into that contest. Peace.